I'm Hale. And I'm Alex, and today we're going to do our summer plans and TBR. So the main two things, so we're going to play book bingo during the summer, and then we just have some random books that we want to read, yep. other than the school books that we're required to read. Yeah. So for our book bingo, we made up our own bingo boards. The way it's going to work is that we all, we both printed out one of these, and it's just five in a row, like every other bingo that you've ever seen. They're just like book related. So like, for example, one of these is a book written by someone with your first name and the other one is like a book set in Asia. So what you do is when you read a book during the summer, if it matches any of these, you can cross it out and write the book down. And you're just trying to get the five in a row so you can like win, but there's nothing to win. Just your own self-satisfaction and to try and get you to read like different sorts of books. Yeah. And so. I think, I think the thing we're going to do with this is like, we're just going to play it throughout the summer. So like... If we have more than five in a row, like, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. We'll just see who has the most, like, filled out by the end. Yeah. And then the winner will get bragging rights. Yes. That's it. Nothing yes. else. <laughs> so, the one, like, big rule that we have for this is that a book can only count for, like, one square. So, if you have that, a book that's set in high school and a book that is more Could than ten hard. years old, old then you can only count it for one of those, and you just yep. pick which one it's going to count for. Yep. And we're also not counting the books that we're currently reading, so for me, I'm not going to be able to count Tower of Dawn, which, side note, is not as terrible as I first expected, but I still hate Kale. Wow. And then the other book that I'm currently reading is To Kill a Kingdom, but I'm almost done with that. It's an audiobook. Yeah. So I can't count One Dark Throne by Kendra Blake. I'm almost done with that. I have, like, 150 pages left, so I'll be done, like, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but then, then we can start counting them. Yes, exactly. And then we just have some books that we have on our TBR. So I just picked out three other than the ones I'm required to read for school, which I'm not going to bore you with that. Yeah. So we're just going to ignore those ones. It's like three of them. It's Pride and Prejudice, Frankenstein, and The Adventures of Huffman. Yeah. That's exciting. all we need to say about them. <laughs> so the first book that I have that I'm excited to read this summer is The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness, which I'm so excited for this baby. It's what I'm reading next, actually. And I'm literally, I'm so hyped to read this because it's the last one of the All Souls trilogy. And it's also heartbreaking at the same time because I love this trilogy, so it's like the end. But it's also super thick, so we'll get some good time with our babies yet. And I mean, I can't see any spoilers, but like, shit went down in the last book. <laughs> so like this one, like the shit is gonna hit the fan in this one. Yay! I'm hype. Soon, like literally end of this week probably. Yeah. One of my books is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. It's like literally the last Adam Silvera book that I have to read that he's written so far, besides the one he's writing now with uh, Becky Alberti, but that's not out yet, obviously. My friend read this and she loved it, and I've loved all of Adam Silvera's books, and the cover's really pretty, so. Gotta read this one this summer because, you know, Adam Silvera. And then when I was at the bookstore the other day, not the other day, like a little bit ago, I picked up Acofas. And I oh, just yeah. ended up getting, like, a cute little romance summer read for the beach because I'm going to the beach for, like, three days next week. So I'll obviously bring them the book that I happen to be currently reading at the time. And then this because the font is big and I'm going to be able to whip through it because it's a fast little romance and stuff, too. It's a good beach read. So it is To All the Boys I've Loved Before and it's by Jenny Han. And basically what it's about is this girl has been writing, like, love letters about the guys that she's fallen in love with and then one day they get mailed. So I guess it's about, like, the drama that happens afterwards. I'm just excited. It'll be a nice beach read. So, looking forward to that next week. My next book is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which, like, look at how many awards this book has. Holy cow! It must be, like, astounding. Like, I have wanted to read it for a while, and then it got put, actually, on our Reading Olympics book list this year. So this is one of the books I got assigned to. Like, we picked books that we are, like, assigned to read that we need to read. So this is one of them, so I'm going to read it over the summer, take notes on it, so I can remember it for the Reading Olympics competition in March. And the last must-read book that I have, of course I have others, but these are just the ones I chose to bring up, is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which I am super hyped about because I've wanted to read this book since it came out. I got it for Christmas, and I've had too much on my TBR list to, like, read it, but I'm finally going to read it, and I'm so excited, even though it's way past its release date, and I think the second one is, like, out or coming out soon, but it's okay. I'll be ready when that happens, but it's get it, like, the Aristotle one, this is also on our Reading Olympics book list, so I was just like, perfect, we'll just kick it into hyperdrive now, <laughs> read it right away. So basically what's it, honestly, I haven't read the front cover, I just know basically what other people have said. It's about this dude, Monte, who, I believe he goes on, like, an adventure with his best friend or something like that, but he's, like, questioning his sexuality, or, like, he is, like, straight-up gay. 
I'm not positive which one it is, but it's like Victorian era, so like that's like not okay and stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. I, it's supposed to be hilarious, and I'm excited. It's also kind of romantic, so bonus. <laughs> So my last book is actually the book I'm definitely going to be picking up like tomorrow. It's A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir and I feel bad because I shouldn't have this book in my hands right now. Release date is not until tomorrow from the time of filming but um, Amazon you know ships their books early so you know don't pre-order from Amazon because it really hurts the author's first week sales. So that was the memo we got from Saba Tahir when Amazon sent out their shipments. Rip. Yeah it was it was a bad bad day. I got the book that day so I didn't have an option. I'm really excited about this one. It's the third book in the Ember in the Ashes quartet, finally. I read Ember in the Ashes and the Torch Against the Night earlier this year and it makes me sad because she changed the covers. So like the other covers look different and it makes me really sad because like all of them are like white on the side now and have like some of the color at the bottom while the other ones are like gray and blue on the side. <laughs> Thanks Saba! Love you! But I'm really excited about this one and I can't really give it away any spoilers because a lot of shit went down in the second book again. I feel like shit goes down in the second Probably. book a lot. Yeah. I can't really give away any spoilers, but I'm really excited to read this one and see like what Eli and Leah and Helene do. Yeah, so that's like literally next on my list. Alright, so that's it for this video and we'll see you soon with some more updates about our summer reading. Bye. Bye.